It was one of the most infamous killings in modern African history, the gunning down of Burkina Faso's charismatic president Thomas Sankara in 1987. And on Monday, the trial of 14 people accused of plotting that assassination got underway in the capital, Ouagadougou. Among those in attendance, Sankara's widow, Mariam. Like everyone else in Burkina Faso, we are waiting for the truth to come out. So today is the day that begins, and we hope and wish that the truth will come out. Sankara was a Marxist revolutionary widely known as Africa's Che Guevara. Aged 33, he seized power in a 1983 coup, with promises to tackle corruption and the dominance of former colonial powers. But in 1987, he was killed. That was during a coup led by his one-time ally, Blaise Compore, who was the main defendant in the trial. The former president has always denied involvement in Sankara's death and lives in exile in Ivory Coast having been ousted in 2014. He was charged in absentia in April with complicity in the murder. Also charged in April was his right-hand man, General Gilbert Diandere. He's among the 12 out of 14 accused who are appearing at the military tribunal. They have all pleaded not guilty. One other defendant, Compore's former head of security, Hyacinth Cafando, is also being tried in his absence.